my pigs. <laughs> you know, my name is Judy, and I have my own religion, Judyism. <laughs> yes, soon you will all be my personal love slaves. <laughs> but first, but first, let's go back in time. You know, I'm trying to lead a normal life. So just now, I was on this airplane to Europe. It could happen. <laughs> and uh, there's this guy sitting next to me. Looks like a squid in stretch pants. <laughs> so you know, I'm ready to spawn. <laughs> Just cause he paid for my trip. <laughs> How much can I give? I ask you stunt puppets. So then he starts puffing on a cigar the size of God's ego. And he's blowing this cigar smoke in my petite flower face. And I said, excuse me, excuse me. But if I wanted to shorten my life, I'd date you. Okay, Sasquatch? So of course he takes this as a come on. Oh, and he says to me, he says, Judy, says Judy, says Judy. He had an accordion too. It could happen. And he said, oh, Judy, Judy. Yes, he wanted to possess me. He said, <laughs> he said, oh, Judy, come with me to Japan. You can be my little geisha girl. I said, all right. Like I have time to get my feet bound. <laughs> to the goddess. Come closer. <laughs> now I want to ask you a question. How many of you ever started dating someone because you were too lazy to commit suicide? <laughs> yeah, come on. You know what I mean? The kind of trolls that you've devoted your whole lives to them and then they say, well, uh, I need to see other people. <laughs> yeah, well, watch Donahue. <laughs> okay, sex ape. And, and I have this friend, Mary Beth Easy, and she's not really my friend. She's more like a landmass with a perm. <laughs> compliment you know um so when he, one day she called me you remember she called me and she said judy judy are you coming to my wedding and i said oh yeah right you know like i have time to buy her a blender <laughs> just because some pipe fitter is poaching her eggs <laughs> to do, like stay in bed and complain. <laughs> you know what that's like, don't you, princess of power? <laughs> look at you, look at you, you're begging to be me. <laughs> yeah. By now I'm sure you can tell that I'm the kind of woman who sits by the phone and waits for some man to call. <laughs> for it. <laughs> That's right. Look at you, stud pup. 
stop it. Look at you with your legs open like there's almost any hope. No, no. You cannot possess me. No. Oh. Now, come closer to the goddess. Come closer. Oh, guess what? I want to tell you a secret. I want to tell you a secret. Guess what? <laughs> I'm dating the Pope. <laughs> no, no, I'm just using them to get to God. <laughs> That's right, I love the Pope. He's a fashion plate. One time he called me. You remember he called me? Yes, and he said, Judy, Judy. He said, why don't you possess me? He said, oh, Judy, let's go hunting. And I love to hunt. <laughs> because I like to wear safety orange. <laughs> Judy, can I come to your house and touch your velvet painting of Elvis <laughs> that cries? And I said, Suffer, Pope. <laughs> he cannot possess, you know. Oh, so then, um, the Pope and I astral projected. <laughs> And we went to Texas, and I wrote this love song for the Pope. It's a country and western love song, and you could dance to this, case sponge I just want a cowboy to ride me home. I just want a cowboy who's rich and lives in Rome. I just want a cowboy with gold-plated soap. Yeah, I just want a cowboy named John Paul the Pope. <laughs> no, I'm not done. I met him one day in the Krakow Saloon. It could happen. He lassoed a pickle from clear across the room. He said, hey, little Klotchke, you're supposed to kiss my ring. I said, if I want to see your back, I'll learn how to sing. He'd be my main man, I'd be his blue nun. He'd teach me how to kiss the ground. I'd teach him how to duck from a gun. Oh, I just want a cowboy to whom I can confess. Yeah. Silky dress. No. No. Don't spoil me, stud puppets. Oh, wait, let me put down my IUD. Some people have no concept of reality. My mom, she made me babysit my brother Bosco. Bosco! Yes, he's like you, but with a human head. <laughs> no, I mean it as a turn on, stud puppet. So, so, um, so one day my mom, my mom came home early and she says, hey, Judy, what's Bosco's severed arm doing on the table? <laughs> And I said, um, bad paper cut. <laughs> yeah. One day, one day, I was coming home from work. It could happen. And I noticed my house was gone. I thought, oh God, it's my fault for leaving it out in the open. <laughs> When I got closer, there were all these firemen. They looked at me with lust, like you. Yes, yes, they looked at me with lust. <laughs>